So I had to do it from my phone. So we're gonna make it work. Either way. Um so my topic for today um is about you feeling like you don't have to dumbing yourself down. You don't have to adjust who you are for the next person. That's what my video is about today. So I'm going to give everyone a chance to log in. One second. Okay. All right. So I just want y'all to know that I don't take anything for granted. Anything that God puts in my hands, I don't take anything for granted. And I got this message, um, and I'm going to read it to you. And, and I'm going to tell you why I decided to do my live today on not feeling like you have to adjust who you are for the next person. Because what we what we fail to realize is as women, we, we're going to grow. In life, we grow. We change. We get better, we elevate, and sometimes the people who start off with us, they don't always make it through that process with us along the way. But you don't have to adjust who you are to appease them. So I'm, I'm trying to get to this message that was sent to me. Okay. So y'all know Auntie. And her, uh, her site ain't the best. Okay. So it reads, I just want to personally thank you for all that you do. I'm 22 and I'm trying to figure all of this relationship stuff out. I grew up in foster care and I don't have many female role models in my family. I look up to you for guidance in so many areas of my life. When I was reading that, I was like, wow. Like, I don't, I don't take anything for granted that, that God put in my life. I don't take for granted. And I really <laughs> to a certain, a, a level, uh, you know, because I understand that when you are an influencer, people are watching, especially the younger people. So she goes on to say, I recently treated myself to brand new matching bras and underwear. My boyfriend really flipped out asking if I was seeing someone else. I told him that I wanted matching sets for me. I just wanted something pretty for myself. I rarely treat myself to anything just for me. But I wanted to let you know that the whole time I was making my purchase, I was thinking of how proud that you would be of me. I know that I'm not your child, but in my mind, you are the mother that I never had. I just love you so much. Thank you for your time. Let me let me just say something. Because I want to be able to get to your comments. I want to be able to see what you all are saying. I want to be able to respond back to you. One second. Okay. All right. As you grow as a woman, your expectations are going to change. What you may have accepted during one season in your life, you might not accept it during this season of your life. And that's perfectly okay. This young lady simply wanted to do one thing, and that was to purchase something pretty for herself. And by matching underwear sets, that, that is something that seems so simple. It's something that is so simple, but I just want you to understand that sometimes where you going, the people around you, they ain't necessarily ready to go there with you. And sometimes they don't want to see you go there too. And if you flip out on something as simple as matching underwear sets, you mean to tell me my bra and my panty can't match? My bra and my panty can't match? That bothered you? Something is wrong there. When I was talking to Gabby, I always talk about what well, I always try to lead by example 
when it comes down to setting a standard. Okay. I was talking to Gabby, and this is just casual conversation, and I was laughing. I said, Gabby, um, you, what's really going on? You still holding on to that virginity. And there's nothing wrong with her holding on to her virginity. The thing is, we don't preach purity culture in our house. We don't preach purity culture, period. So I, I said, what, what's really going on that you still holding on to that virginity? Because she about to be 21. And she said, Mama, you really want to know? The truth, why I'm still holding on to it. It ain't necessarily about. Um, she was basically letting me understand. Like it wasn't necessarily about this whole. She don't have the desire. She said, mama, I just can't see me losing my virginity in a twin bed in a dorm room. She was like, I just, I think more of myself. I think more of myself than that. And the only thing that came to my mind when she told me that was she done raised up a standard. She done raised up a standard for herself and what it is she want for her life and the way she envisioned her first time being. A, a standard has been raised. Kayada asked me a question a couple of weeks ago because during the pandemic Mother's Day happened during the pandemic the year before that my husband bought me up bought my Audi for Mother's Day well this year I guess he felt like he didn't have to do as much because he had bought me a car the year before but when you're dealing with a certain type of person a person like me you can't have step with me a standard a standard has been set Ladies, it's nothing wrong with you setting a standard. And the thing was, they have to ask for Mother's Day for me this year with the pandemic, talking about COVID and all this, but I let everybody in my house know how I felt about it. Because regardless of COVID, regardless of whatever, when it come down to you, I make sure. I make sure your day is everything that you thought it would be. Regardless of COVID, regardless of whatever, I make sure. So the end result was, he understood where I was coming from and he ended up redoing Mother's Day for me. And I was very pleased and very content because for me, it wasn't about the gift. It's never about the gift. But I like to feel like you have taken out time and planned something, especially for me. So my whole point is, don't ever feel like, you know, when men come along and they try to make you feel like you too expensive and you want too much and you have all of these certain standards that are set. Don't ever feel like you have to adjust because I never ask you to do something for me that I can't do for me. I'm going to never ask you to do something that I can't do for me. So the thing is, ladies, you don't have to adjust your standard. You, you don't have to change who you are because either he can afford you or he can't. It's a lot of people that like to shop on the champagne aisle, but they got a Coca-Cola budget. And sir, if you have a Coca-Cola budget, you gotta go get a woman that wanna that, that can deal with your Coca-Cola budget. But we 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 got we champagne over here. Meaning I have a standard. And I'm not about to lower it or adjust it for you or anybody else. Either you can roll with it or you can't. A lot of times people, and I, I wrote all this on purpose today, because I wanna let you understand sometimes people see something and it's an illusion. Of what they feel like it is. This is a $10 ponytail in my head. This is a $5 shirt that I have on from Rainbow. But you'll look at this and you'll be like, oh, this, this costs X amount of dollars. This costs this, 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 that, the other. But you can take anything and make it look good. It's about your standard. So my message to you today is you don't have to adjust anything for anybody. When you got a certain standard, stick with it. Hold on a second.
Sorry about that. They had me on hold for like 45 minutes this morning, but I called them back. That's concerning my register at the store. It was we was having some problems with it this weekend. But um that was kind of one of the reasons my life was delayed as well. So back to what I was saying. When you dealing with people, either they can come up to your standard or they can't. But you don't have to adjust. You don't ever have to lower. Like I tell people, one thing my husband know. I would go to Tony's and I would spend so much money in Tony's because I am a seafood eater. Seafood is expensive. It's, it's expensive when you, if you like snow crabs, that shit add up. You get what I'm saying? If you like oysters, it adds up. I ain't never been no rice and gravy type of woman. I, you know, I will eat it, but that ain't what my palate, that ain't what makes my palate happy. It's, it's a acquired taste that makes my palate happy. But the thing is, if I want it, I'm going to go get it. And you can't try to make me adjust to this rice and gravy every day when my palate requires something different. So what I'm trying to get you to understand is you can continue to be you, man, sweetheart, that sent in the message. You can continue at this point in your life, you're 22, and you, you like the way matching panties and uh, bras look. And he got a problem with it, then that's a problem that he got to deal with. Because maybe he ain't never met no woman that like matching panties and bras and all this kind of stuff. And sometimes you got to let these people know, look, sweetheart, I'm growing up. They, they interrupted me today while I'm trying to work. You may have met me at McDonald's. But that don't mean I'm, I'm going to be McDonald all my life. In other words, you might have met me and I was only able to afford the pack of panties from Walmart, the Hanes pack of panties. That might have been all I could afford when you met me. But at this point in my life, I'm able to go out there and buy me some matching sets. So get used to seeing me in some matching sets because I'm learning what it is that I like. <laughs> I'm saying all that to say. <laughs> okay, I'm glad they hung up. They got sense. I call them back. So, even when it come down to your date night, I want you to understand something. I'm not saying that somebody got to roll out the red carpet for you every time or whatever, but it's a certain thing that people can't spend quality time with you. I love the one that um that Casey posted about making the pizza together. That was, in other words, it was the quality time. I have the date night game here, and everybody talk about where you get that from. Well, where this come from? And all I like to say is y'all must not be paying attention when the, when the lives going forward. Y'all must not be looking at all of the information that is given on a on a daily basis about what we have been talking about. We have been talking about date night for about a month now. But if you have not gotten your date night game, you need to get on it because let me tell you something. I think I got about 30 of these left. And the thing is, when I ordered these, I bought all of them from the wholesale company. I bought them all. So I don't know when the manufacturer going to get some more. But you're going to sit down and miss out on this great opportunity and the manufacturer might be six months before they get some more. So that's six months and you're just trying to figure it out. When you could get something like this, and this one says, curl up in bed together and watch a romantic comedy. Y'all all got Netflix. And the thing is, this is giving you a suggested type of movie to watch. A romantic comedy. Every time y'all, if I had to depend on Spencer Parker to pull up a genre for us to watch on Netflix, you know what we always end up watching when he pull it up? Some first 48 shit, some uh, investigative <laughs> shit, some, uh, what it was yesterday, he pulled up Narcos, El Chapo, El Capono, all this drug and trafficking and smuggling and that's the shit that he pull up. But I'm grateful for a date night set like this. Because now we get to roll, get up in the bed and watch a romantic comedy and we get to do some shit that I want to do that's a little lighthearted. That ain't got me feeling like somebody about to come and kick our dough in at any moment. 
Because a lot of times when people pick genres, they pick things that they interested in. Okay? Uh, what it is? What he pick? Alien, Star Trek, sci-fi. <laughs> so what I'm trying to say is sometimes when you're dealing with men, they interest is a little bit different than our interest. Okay? But but this is going to have y'all doing some little lighthearted stuff. So even if you decide to do this, this particular one said curl up in bed and watch romantic comedy, bitch, go to Dollar Tree and go get the little popcorn container. Go to the grocery store, go get you the little bag of popcorn, pop it, pour it up in there. In other words, make it look like a date night. Make it look like something fun and interesting to do. Order y'all some pizza and sit in the bed and eat the pizza in the box while y'all watch. In other words, you, you do all the little extras with the date night. Okay, this week I didn't even I forgot to bring my um uh, my bottle of vodka. Amber bought me some Russian vodka because she knew that I was planning this whole international date night for Mr. Parker on tomorrow. That's what my card said. International thing date night. So I, I already had a walk. So I'm gonna try my hand at shrimp fried rice and egg rolls. She got the um the Russian vodka for me. I have all of these little dishes that I ordered um online to make it real creative. I got the lit lights and in other words, I'm making a date night um to my liking, right? I told y'all about the sheet spray. Now the sheet spray was the number one seller last week and in store and online. But we still have sheet spray and we got the Ozang wipes back in. So the thing is, we have everything that you need to make you to for you to have a successful date night. I'm gonna read another one um, that I thought was. Let's see. Find a garden to walk through together. Okay. So here we have a beautiful garden. In Independence by Independence Park. Have y'all been to that garden by Independence Park? Just clap your hands. Some of you all may not have known that there's a beautiful garden that has all, and it's annual, meaning that they change out the flowers all year long to make it appealing. Um, that's something that you can do. This stuff ain't costing you nothing but a little time. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, I like this one. Pretend to be strangers meeting at a bar and then hook up. Cute stuff. Let me see. <laughs> All right, she says she coming this weekend. They got Christmas baskets that they. Yes, Tash, the garden is beautiful. Yes, we have been there to take pictures as well. So what I'm trying to say is the things that are in this date night jar, it's a hundred different creative date night ideas. The things that are in here are not anything that's so far-fetched is what I'm trying to get you to understand, okay? Let's see. How do you feel about the man planning the, the date night? This date night allows me, and first of all, let me just say this here. Me and Mr. Parker alternate. This is my week to plan. This was my week to plan family day. This is how we keep up with it. If it's my Sunday to plan family day, then it's my Tuesday to plan date night. So yesterday, my family day was about the women's suffrage movement. We watched Iron Jar Angels. We talked about Kamala becoming our Madam Vice President. We had really good dialogue about the suffrage movement and the 19th Amendment and women getting their right to vote. And I cooked seafood gumbo yesterday. So that was my family day. My date night is an international date night thing. Amber gifted me with the vodka because she's just such a sweetheart. Um, so that means the following week it's going to be Mr. Parker turn to plan whatever it is that he have planned. Normally some gangster gangster type shit because that's the, his personality. So the thing about date night is it allows you to do things that there's your personality. So I pull out of this a lot. Sometimes he pull out of it and he picks some really cool stuff. Um, I just want to read another one in here and I'm going to let this, let's see. Share some wine or another favorite beverage 
while reviewing photos of yourself as a couple. Oh, that's going to require y'all to open them phones up and go through them pictures. Now, let me tell you, and if you know your phone ain't right, you need to go ahead and create an album ahead of time with your pictures in it, okay? And you need to let him know because you ain't trying to fuck up date night, okay? You're trying to make sure you have a good date night. Tell him, look, take all the pictures of me and you on your phone and create an album with it. And you create an album in yours and y'all go to y'all albums and look, I'm not trying to have y'all tan each other head off a of date night because y'all phones is fucked up, okay? Because we all know that sometimes other shit go on in relationships that ain't supposed to go on. And Sharonda is encouraging date night. She ain't trying to get nobody fucked up, all right? So, get y'all date night game. Oh, these have come in every year for Christmas. We get these in. The um the bedside bells. This one is ring for sex. And this one is ring for blowjob. Now, when I do date night, and I left the, the lip boxes, but I ordered the lip boxes with the uh my face all over them. So, and it says I licked it, so it's mine. So, I'm doing... And I, I and the thing is, my love language is gift giving. Okay, so I ordered the lip boxes, and then another thing I have that I'm doing is the chocolate covered strawberries that says um, "nut in me." I'm doing those chocolate covered strawberries, and then I'm putting a little. We already got a ring for sex bell, but I'm gonna put in his gift bag the ring for blowjob bell in there along with his lip boxes. And that's going to be my little gift that I'm giving for date night. I always give a, like a cute little gift, a little trinket. That, because that's my love language. I love to give gifts. Okay? All right. So. Oh, that is really neat. To create a video and stream it to the TV. Yeah, see, I ain't no technical person like this. So when we got, with you depending on me to stream something to the TV, you're going to have to do it. Because I don't know nothing about connecting my phone to the TV and all of this kind of stuff. I don't know about that. But I do think that that is an awesome idea. I think that is an awesome idea. Okay, so that is going to conclude my live. Again, you don't have to adjust your sauce for nobody. It ain't nothing wrong with you walking around feeling like you got it going on. It ain't nothing wrong with you raising up a standard for yourself and what you want in your life, okay? I, you know, I ain't no Taco Vaca type of girl. I'm a more of a Kettle One type of girl. It ain't nothing wrong with that, okay? Taco Vaca fuck my stomach up. It's cheap. Kettle One, it, it do me a little bit better. It's nothing wrong with that. It's nothing wrong with you raising a standard when it come down to yourself, all right? Young lady, thank you so much for following me and the page. And I just, all I want to do is just make you proud. I, I know that I'm an influencer. And I know that a lot of people look up to me, especially young women. So I always try to represent myself, womanhood, motherhood in the best way that I know how. Um, because I don't want to stir you wrong. Let me see. All right, Keyshawn. Now, let me tell you, I was, you know what? Let me see if I can pull this back up on my iPad because my eyes ain't as good as they used to be. And I want to be able to read this. Hold on. Okay. Let's see. All right, Keyshawn. I needed to hear this. I've always had high standards and I got what I wanted, but it's like the guy that I like is afraid that he can't meet my standards and even says things like he remember growing up my mama had high standards and and he know when he comes to me it has to be right ain't nothing wrong with that ain't nothing wrong with a person knowing that when it come down to you there's an expectation okay when I do things I do it like uh minister Ronnie Knox that goes to church with me I do it with the spirit of excellence that's right. Anything that I do, I do it with the spirit of excellence. Okay? Ain't nothing wrong with that. Ella may have a song called Sauce. Yes, indeed. All right. Oh, Shonda, uh, let me see. Shadonna Franklin, $15. That's how much the game is. And it's 100 different date night ideas. Let me put the website up here just in case some of y'all need it. Before I end this live, because it's almost time for me to open up. I'm here at the store, so 
If y'all got questions, concerns, comments, come see me. And I have been in um I have I had my grandpups came Friday. So I have been in grandpup mama mode all weekend and we have been we've been fucking in our bed and then coming to sleep on the couch and <laughs> it's been crazy because we are utilizing our bedroom but we are sleeping separate on the couch so it was just kind of funny because we were just talking about sleeping separate last week so yes we're coming together as husband and wife but then we both have to go to the living room and be grandparents to the puppies and take care of them and help honey throughout the night because you know our dog has c-sections so that means that we have to do a lot of helping with her because she got that cut. Um, so it requires us to do a lot of cleaning her and cleaning the cut and a lot of times cleaning the pups because if you ever dealt with um, a dog giving birth, it is a very messy situation as is. And it's even more so messy because she had a C-section. On top of Obama wants to be the big brother. Yes. So, and these are my dogs I'm talking about, y'all. So, I know for some people, they like, huh? Yes, we are. These are our puppies. Um, we named them. They're girls. Um, one's name is Aubrey. And I thought the other one name was Emily. And they said, no, mom, it's not Emily. We named her Emerald. So, I had it wrong. So, it's Aubrey and Emerald. Those are their names. Autumn, which was the third puppy. She had Autumn. Autumn was fully developed, but Autumn um, came out stillborn. Her umbilical cord was tangled up when they pulled her out of her sack. So Autumn didn't make it. So she actually had three girls. Um, so again, of course, we are looking forward to bringing them into our family. And that is a wrap, honey, is not having any more puppies after this. This was her last go round. And she had the same baby daddy, Omega. We went, we bred with the same uh, stud. So she ain't got multiple baby daddies. She only got one baby daddy. And I think that's about it. And thank y'all for everybody who asked about honey. And you know, who was sending the congratulations and the prayers for her. Um. Oh, before I end this, I was transformed to Uncle Cliff last week by Tess. That was interesting. I'm waiting on uh, Spencer to finish up editing that project. I will be talking to Aurel really soon because uh, this month is No Shave November and we will be discussing prostate cancer awareness in detail. With And I wanted to do it with a medical professional. So be on the lookout for that. Oh, and if you haven't booked your Christmas pictures with Spencer, make sure you contact him because a lot of y'all are contacting me about the pictures. Contact Spencer about the pictures because he has the calendar and he could give you a better answer about dates than me because I don't take the pictures. That's what he does. Okay, I think that's about it. You all be blessed. Be blessed, be blessed, be blessed.